In this video, you can see focus or lens breathing like this, where you can see the image expanding here and contracting here. Expanding here, contracting here. It's very noticeable and to many, it's distracting. With Sony a7 IV in video recording, you can use breathing compensation feature to help out. However, with a bit of crop. Head menu. In the movie tab, select lens compensation group, then select breathing comp item and make sure it's on. What it does is minimizing the field of view shift the expansion or contraction that can happen. Take a look. It does crop in a bit if you notice. And the image is barely expanding or contracting, not reframing or changing size. Focus breathing compensation automatically smooths out focus transition and keeps a consistent field of view when changing the focus transition during a shot. Focus breathing can be quite distracting. Take a look. The zooming motion is quite noticeable. You can see the frame keeps expanding and contracting when it gets closer and further away. This happens with prime and zoom lenses. Or oh, is it me that is distracting and annoying? There is a decrease in focal length. In professional cinematography, they have expensive scene lenses and exhibit little or no focus breathing. With breathing calm off, here, take a look at the squeaky toy example. The slight zoom in or out could be a nuisance or an aesthetic choice when telling a story. Or you might have never realized lens focused breathing even existed. For example, when you product showcasing something, it may be a good thing with focus breathing, like a snap zoom or whip zoom on a product. Here you can see the toys move closer and further away, expecting the focal plane to move back and forth to focus on them at the same time as the angle of view changes as well. Seems like I was having fun with this. Now with the breathing comp on, let's see. Hmm, much better. I'm using the Sony FE 20mm f1.8G lens which is listed on the Sony support page under the breathing compensation compatible lenses. Breathing calm off. Just trying to be creative here. Breathing calm on. One more set of toys and then something else. And breathing calm off here. Now breathing calm on. You could see as I touch focus from one car toy to another, it automatically zooms the image in order to keep it the same size in the frame. look at the park bench here. Notice the visible changes in the angle of view using the bench as point of reference. When the subject is further away, it's less noticeable.
anything calm on? You can look at the bench again. There's a slight crop, you can tell, but it isn't moving in and out anymore. In this clip, I don't remember if I turned the breathing comp on or off. Could you guess and tell? This is handheld and moving. Touch focusing the background and the foreground. Breathing calm off, touch focusing on the duck which is further away in the foreground, then touch focusing the background. Notice the image is barely contracting and expanding because the duck is further out in the foreground. Here is going to be very obvious. Take a look. This is because the trash can is much closer in the foreground. Now with the breathing calm on with a slight crop. Focusing on the white core and the orange core. Here I'm using a Tamron lens, which the lens breathing compensation is not supported. However, I'm using a small aperture like f22 that produces small amount of background blur, joining the subject in focus and the background. This is one way to minimize lens breathing. And as you can see, there isn't any expanding and contracting while I'm messing around. Another way to minimize focus breathing is to have the subject further away. It is less noticeable that way. You could also rack focus from the foreground to the background slowly. Oh, and some lenses deal with focused breathing better than others. Anyway, this is like a long ass video. Thank you for watching. Do come back.